welcome back to my channel guys and you are tuning in to no frizz fridays and for this friday i will be demonstrating a flat twist out so for the first part i'm just going to section off my hair and this is going to be the first section that i work with so for the first product i'm using tresemme's naturals conditioner and i use this conditioner because it gives me a lot of slip and it's easier to detangle my hair um, with this conditioner and the best part of all is it's natural and now I'm just going to detangle a little bit I did wash my hair before um, I made this video and I also let it air dry about 50% and then my next product is going to be the coconut curling cream from Cantu and this is just going to be my moisturizer and then I'm going to use the jelly soft curls from I forgot what the name is for. I'll just make sure I put it in the description box. This is going to act like a mousse. And this is going to make sure that my flat twist stay without giving it crunch or um, hardening uh, the twist. So for this part, you're just going to either make them medium sections or smaller or small sections, however you like. But for me, I decided to do small, like one small section in the front and then medium ones after. And this is because I kind of, I have a bang, so I kind of want to um, make sure that they get curled properly. And I have a little bit of heat damage in the front of my hair that is slowly but surely progressing um, so I just still want to make sure everything curls correctly and everything is uniform. So to do a flat twist, I'm trying to show you the best way that I can. Um, you're just going to take two strands of hair and you're going to twist them two times. And then before you twist that third time, you pull some hair and you put it into one of the twists and then you twist and then you pull some more hair and then you put it into the other one and then you twist and you just repeat those same steps so as you see me separating um the part that i'm separating is going into one strand and then the uh then i twist it and then the next one i'm separating is going into the other strand and then i twist it and that's just how you create a flat twist now you can either do it two ways depending on if you're um, right-handed or left-handed uh, I did do it both ways I didn't show it on camera however I just wanted them to face backwards otherwise you could do it frontwards it just depends on how you want your curl so then once I am done twisting then I'm just going to add a roller on the end and this is just to give my ends an extra bit of curl because I did go to sleep with this so I did not want them to unravel and I forgot to show one product which is the coconut oil I use coconut oil on every style this is just something that I like coconut oil definitely moisturizes and keeps the moisture in my hair so this is why I use it and I'm just speeding up this process so that you so that the video won't be so long however you can still see me do um, more than one twist separate the side and the back um, I did do a deep part this is not something that you have to do this is just something that I decided to do because I like my hair most of my hair 
to lay on the right side of my head and now I'm just going to continue to do the same thing I did on the left side of my hair and just make sure that I apply um, enough product to the whole section first and I did wind up using mousse because that gel I had I didn't really like it got it dried up too quickly and it was kind of hard to twist um, uh, it was kind of hard for me to do the flat twist because I did apply all of it to the whole section and not just one section at a time so I did decide to use the mousse however I did like the the jelly curl thing it just wasn't um it just wasn't working for me while I was trying to do this video but it is a good um it is a good gel and it does give a good hold because I did do it to that first section and my hair came out fine it was not um dry it was not hard so it did do the job I just didn't like how fast it dried for my hair and I'm just showing you on this side what I am doing and again it's the same process and I'm going to add a little roller at the end of every one and as you can see this is like something um, what you should have and now I'm just adding a little bit of the olive oil gel to the, to my edges and to the front and any parts that's not really laying down for me and then I'm just going to put on a scarf and call it a night And so now it is the next morning and this is how I just unravel it. Um, some of them did kind of unravel a little bit just because that's how my hair is. Um, however, they did not come out because of the uh, thing that I had on the bottom of it. So now I'm just going to use some glossing polish and this is just going to give me some slip so that I won't damage the curl or my um, hair while I take these twists out. And you want to make sure that they are fully dry before you do re uh, uh, take them out. And um, I'm just speeding up this part as well because it's pretty self-explanatory. You just want to, you know, take them out carefully without trying to give um, your hair a lot of frizz. And at the bottoms, like on some the left side of my head is curlier than the right side of my head so it was a lot more difficult to unravel because the bottom was um, a lot tighter and I was trying to unravel it without getting it tangled and some pieces did get tangled however the results I love so I'm not complaining said before I do have bangs so that's why my hair looks a little crazy on the side but um in the end I'll fix it all together and make it mesh a little well a little better and um right now my hair has no volume but to do uh to get some volume a quick tip you can always use a big uh wide tooth comb and just comb out the roots and it gives your hair so much volume without actually damaging the curls and see, as you can see, I have a, a little bit of frizz, but it's minimum just because I was not able to untangle correctly because it was getting tangled at the edges. Not the edges, I meant the ends. They were getting tangled at the ends a little bit, but this is like minimum to no frizz. But again, if you keep like messing with your hair um, without properly having like slip or some type of oil on your hands, it can definitely cause frizz. And the whole point of No Frizz Fridays is to not have any frizz. So you just live and you learn sometimes, but you know, again, just use a couple tips and just, um, you know, unravel these flat twists and any type of twist out that you do. <laughs> Now here's the finished look. Thank you guys for tuning in to No Fears Fridays. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I got more coming on Makeover Mondays. Thanks guys.